Candy recipes usually require cooking at very high temperatures for a specific amount of time. So when making candy, it's essential to have a candy thermometer, as it can measure high temperatures. And it's just as important that the thermometer is accurate. You can find inexpensive models like these in many grocery discount and hardware stores. Before making candy, it's a good idea to check the accuracy of your thermometer. You can do this in a pan of boiling water. First clip the thermometer onto the pan before heating, making sure the tip doesn't touch the bottom. You want to be sure to measure the temperature of the water, not the pan. Then let the thermometer stand in the boiling water until it comes up to temperature. It should read 212 degrees Fahrenheit. If it doesn't, you need to mentally allow for the difference. For example, if your thermometer reads 207 degrees in boiling water, then you know you need to add 5 degrees from whatever your thermometer reads when making candy. To use the thermometer for making candy, again clip onto the pan before heating, making sure the thermometer doesn't touch the bottom. Then cook and stir as the recipe directs until the mixture reaches temperature. The thermometer is hot, so be sure to use pot holders or a towel to remove it from the pan, then set on a plate to cool. And don't plunge the hot thermometer into cold water or it will break. Once the candy is finished and the thermometer has cooled, you can soak the thermometer in soapy water to remove the hard candy.